news updates. The United States of America urges INEC to address concerns ahead of March 11 polls. Welcome to today's news. Please don't forget that you can subscribe to this channel by clicking on the subscribe button and the bell for more updates. The news details. The U.S. has called on the Independent National Electoral Commission, HINEC, to address technical itches reportedly associated with the use of bimodal voter accreditation system, BIVAS, before the governorship and state assembly elections on March 11th. Ned Price, the spokesperson for the State Department, in a statement, said Nigerians were clearly within their rights to have such concerns and should have high expectations for their electoral processes in the just concluded presidential poll. We join other international observers in urging Heineck to improve in the areas that need the most attention ahead of the March 11 elections. We understand that many Nigerians and some of the parties have expressed frustration about the manner in which the process was conducted. They have also expressed frustration about the shortcomings of technical elements that were used for the first time in a presidential election cycle, he said. Price, however, advised the aggrieved presidential candidates to use all legal means to correct the anomaly. They have well-established mechanisms in place for the adjudication of electoral disputes, and we encourage any candidates or party seeking to challenge the outcome to pursue redress through those mechanisms. We call on all parties, candidates, and supporters to reframe their pardon to reframe from violence or inflammatory rhetoric at this critical time, the spokesperson said. In addition, Price commended the active participation of civil society and the media for advancing electoral norms and political discourse on issues of importance of, to citizens. He said the United States of America noted with concern reports that numerous members of the media were attacked during the course of the election. We urged, we urged the government, security forces, political actors, and all citizens to respect the med media's critical role by refraining from any damaging acts against them and ensuring accountability from such acts for such acts when they do occur. We also congratulate the Nigerian people, especially the large number of youths who are relatively new to the political process, for demonstrating their strong commitment to democracy. According to Price, the United States congratulates the people of Nigeria, President-elect Tinumbu and all political leaders following the declaration by Heineck on the results of the February 25th presidential election. It said that the competitive election represented a new period for Nigerian politics and democracy. Each of the top three candidates was the leading vote getter in 12 states, a remarkable first in Nigeria's modern political era reflecting the diversity of views that characterize the campaign and the wishes of Nigerian's voters. The news agency of Nigeria, NAN, reports that the Heineck chairman, Perf Mahmoud Yakubu, on Wednesday, was an, who announced Ashwajibola Metinumbu, a former Lagos state governor and the candidate of the All Progressives Congress won the election with a majority of votes cast across Nigeria. The APC candidate pulled 8,794,726 votes to defeat fellow contenders 
Atiku Abubakar of the opposition People's Democratic Party PDP, who put 6,984,520 votes. Labour Party's Peter Obi had 6,101,533 votes to come third. And candidates of the new Nigerian People's Party NNPP, Rabiu Kwankwazo, who pulled 1,496,687 votes to place a distant fourth. Of the 36 states and FCT, Tinumbu, Obi, and Hatiku won 12 states each, while Kwankwazo won only Kano states. The 12 states won by Tinumbu are Hogun, Hoyo, Oshun, Kwara, Benue, Rivers, Bono, Sanfara, Jigawa, Ondo, Kogi, and Niger. Atiku of the PDP won Taraba, Oshun, Akwaibom, Adamara, Kaduna, Shokoto, Yobe, Bayasa, Kebi, Bauchi, Kumbi, and Kastina states. Obi won the following states of Eboi, Enugu, Imu, Anambra, Abia, Delta, Edo, FCT, Plateau, Nasarawa, Lagos, and Cross River. Now the URC has urged Nigeria uh, INEC, pardon, to look into their electronics before the March 11 governorship and state assembly elections. The report repeated itself during the presidential election should not repeat itself again concerning this because Nigerians are boiling. Nigerians are ready to face the consequences of whatever actions they are going to take. So the USA is admonishing INEC not to be partial this time around. Your premise is using the Beavers machine and uploading on the iWave for everyone to see, not using paper and pen. Then after the uploading, during the collation, everybody will have access to results. So it's better you go and work on your machine. You see how few days towards the governorship election so that Nigerians will not do what they are not supposed to do because Nigerians decide Nigerians are coming out to vote for their candidates and they don't want something that their votes will not be counted. We have come to the end of the news. Thank you for tuning in. And we hope that the high neck chairman will hack into what the USA has said. Do have a nice day.